Yes, people, and welcome back to AJ Cars, and welcome back to another video in cold England, which is pretty sad, but we're happy because we have a new car, and yes, you've seen the title, we have bought another M140i in my favourite colour, and I'm extremely, extremely happy, so we're going to go around this car. So here she is, the BMW M140 in Alpine white. This car is pretty stock. We do have the side skirt stickers, which I'm not too keen on. I'm, not, I'm on the fence about them. I'm not too sure what I want to do with them, whether I take them off or keep them. I'm not entirely sure. Tell me what you think about this car. I know everyone loves the M140, and I'm a huge fan of it in white as well. We did have an Estrel blue one on the channel before, which was John's. Unfortunately, we didn't really get the opportunity to modify that too heavily, but I intend on modifying this quite a lot. Let's go around the car quickly. So first things first, this car is a shadow edition, which I don't think is very rare, but it does have a few extra perks like ProNav, Harman Kardon sound system. The backlights are slightly dark. I'm not too clued up on them, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I will eventually learn more and more stuff about them. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments what are the differences between a Shadow Edition and a normal one, but we're going to have a quick look around everything that is on this car. So first things first, we have the rear end. Pretty standard, no spoiler, but we do have the typical M140i diffuser, which everybody always has, and we do also have some M performance exhaust tips. I'll be keeping them. I'll probably end up just polishing them, making them look a little bit tidy because they are a bit dirty. This car does need a massive clean. Unfortunately, we do have some damage on the rear bumper just here. That'll get painted. So as soon as I can, that bumper will get painted and it will look fresh. Diffuser, I will be keeping as well because I do like these diffusers. So we are gonna be doing some modifications in this video straight off the bat. I've already bought some, so they are going straight on in this video. Standard suspension, I will be putting this on some coilovers and probably changing the wheels at some point as well. Gloss black kidney grills, which is standard. We just You just need to have them. They just look so much better, unless they come with the Shadow Edition. Again, I'm not too clued up, but I'll find out more. We need tires on the front. These tires have a bit of tread, but you can tell someone's been driving this car spiritedly. But yeah, this car is so fun. I've driven this car for about a week now. I've been trying to keep it as quiet as I possibly can, but they are so, so fun to drive. So fun to drive. Fortunately for me, this car does have a Pandora lock, so no one is getting in this car without the alarm going off and it will just shut off. And that is fortunate for me because I don't have to buy it. And if you're not from the UK, people from the UK will tell you this, they are notorious for being stolen here. So I'm really glad I do have that to protect this car at all costs because, again, they are notorious for getting stolen. Now, we haven't had the chance to modify the E92 M3, so... I am in need of doing some modification on the car because I miss it so dearly because of the Golf and the E46. They were so heavily modified. I've missed it. So this car is getting modified. So we're going to take this to the body shop now. We're going to get it on a ramp. We're going to have a quick look underneath it to make sure everything's okay. Then we're going to put some modifications on this. So let's make a move. I'm sure you want to know what modifications I've bought, so I'm going to show you. So the first thing we've got going on, the rear spats. These are second hand off a friend of mine who was selling up off his 140, so I thought, right, I'll take them off here. Rear spats, the first thing to go on. Next thing, side splitters off the same guy. Thank you very much, sir. This will be good spot. Next thing is a front splitter. This is gloss black, the same as them. I don't think it's the same manufacturer though, and it does come in three pieces. So I'm a bit skeptical to how it's going to look, but I'm going to put it on and we're going to see how it looks. The usual M mirror covers. And finally, I don't even know if you can buy these or he's made them or whatever, but these go in here. So we're going to see how they look. Same color, Alpine white. Let's go. So we're going to start with the white bars that sit 
on these things in here. Now, a lot of people will take the bumper off. Some people just rip these kidney grills out, but I'm gonna show you the best way to get these out without damaging them. So, if you just pry slightly, I will tell you there is a clip. One, two, three, one, two there. Same on the bottom. So there is six top and bottom and one on each side. All you need to do is get a small pick, pry this out slightly, as you can see here. And you can see where someone's had a go at that in there. That is where the tab is. Once you've got one out, you can literally just put your hand behind and do all the other tabs, which is really easy. But that is the best way of doing it. So once you've got into this position, you can pull this all the way back and you'll be able to get your hand all the way in here and get to these tabs on the bottom. So now we've got that off, we can get these bad boys and we can stick them straight in. I think these do just literally, see how they're shaped? I think they literally do just clip straight over the top of it. So. Now the next thing we're gonna go on to is the mirror caps. Now I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to get these off very, very quickly if you're brave enough. So, watch this. Now, I'm gonna do this in real time to show you how quickly you can actually get these off without getting a trim tool in here. So, what you need to do, you need to hit it this way, from this corner, forward at this angle. So you hit it like this, and see how quickly I can get this off. This is on, this isn't going anywhere. And all your tabs are still perfectly in place. That simple. And then to put it back on, you literally just line it up to where it needs to be. And then, done. So now for parts that make all the difference, the splitter kit, which I'm excited for, we're gonna start with the rear spats. Now these do already have holes in, so I'm gonna try and match them and then just fire it through. BMW did use eight mils and 10 mils on BMW, so this was actually eight mils in this year and then new ones, 10 mils if you didn't know. So we're gonna keep it as OEM as possible and put eight mil bolts in there. Let's put this on. So there you have the rear spats are on and they look really, really good. I'm so happy with how they look. I think that's gonna look so good when it's on the floor. Of course, you do have the rear diffuser to go with it and the M performance tips. I'm excited to see this on the floor now. There's the other one looking good with its OEM bolts. Now, I think it's time to put some side splitters on this. Let's go. So we've got the three pieces. What I'm thinking is this piece, actually, if you see here, they have little locator pins and they sit inside this. Now I'm thinking, run some tape, the tape they provide there along here so that can sit flush like that. And then you offer it up as one whole piece and then you can put some bolts in. So let's tape this up and then we're gonna offer it up.
So we've got the splitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a bit of tape along here so I can offer it up. I'd definitely clean the underside before you do anything. Once you've taped that up and it's held there securely, you can see where everything needs to go. So as you can see, this is taped on. This is literally held on by absolutely nothing. So let's drop a bit of tape there and on the other side. Now we can see where to line up. So that is perfectly flush with the edge of that bumper. I'm happy with how that fits. Of course, this is still flapping about. And then the same on that side, that is flush. So now we're happy with the fitment. We can throw some bolts in and we should be good to go. We have the splitter on. I'm so happy with how that fits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this on the floor and we're gonna see the final product. So we're back to the place where this video started, but the only difference is we now have a clean 140 and a nicely modified M140. Check this out. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you like the new look of the M140. If you did like this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Drop a comment on what I should do to this car next and I'll see you guys in the next video.